With 30,000 tickets already snapped up, the biggest crowd in a decade is expected at tomorrow's SANFL Grand Final. Glenelg is confident that their enthusiasm can overcome the Bulldogs' experience. Matthew Boat has the chance to live out a lifelong dream in tomorrow's SNFL Grand Final. To be honest, it's one of the highlights of, of my career. Um, you know, I've been at Glenelg, I walked, first walked through the door as a five-year-old, and to uh, all I've ever wanted to do, I guess, is play in a premiership. So if I could go out on that note, it'll be really, really special. Win or lose, it'll be the 29-year-old's last game for the Tigers. Chris Kane has been called up to play just his third. The 20-year-old picked ahead of Scott Lewis and James Seller. We're really confident, you know, we've beat them twice this year. We've got a bit of a touch up two weeks ago, but um, the uh, you know the young fellas that we got coming through, um, we had a lot of skillful players, um, and we think that we got a bit of an edge in, in that area. And even though the Bulldogs are in their ninth straight grand final, there's still half a dozen players who haven't won a flag. Trent Goodrum, Delta's brother, missed out last year. My sister's over in New York at the moment, so she's unable to make it back, but mum will be over watching, so it should be good. The Gowan twins already share three Jack Odie medals between them and in the process discovered a new generation of talent. Hopefully they grow up and take our spots. We're old and slow now. But for Bulldogs fans, hopefully still fast enough to win a seventh flag. All Australian set